YouTube. What it do, what it do. All right, guys, so let's talk Springs, man. RSR Springs, this is the review for them, right? So says the title. But um, nah, man, um, so to really just jump right into it, man, the Springs, I like them. They do, actually, when I watched other videos on the Springs themselves and how they, people were saying like they have an OEM feel, like they really do. They really do. But in my mind, um, from all the springs that I've actually used, like the iBox, they, they're pretty stiff, right? So I was like, I wonder how much it would be because I expected these to be just a little bit more stiffer than what they were. But um, they're not, man. It, it rides really, really good, like just like OEM. Um, with that being said, you do have to drive this car like it's a lower car. If not, you're going to run into a lot of issues with the rubbing. So I tested this kind of kind of roughly when I first got the car, right? Um, on spots I knew that I would rub with my other ones without it being lured. Um, and I never really rubbed hard. So the springs are stiff um, because I have like no play, which you guys have seen in the video where I kind of showcase what the car looks like, right? With the springs on it. Um, and if you guys haven't seen that, I'll, I'll leave that video uh, in the description so you can check it out there you know what I'm going to take the freeway <clears throat> but I went through hell after like doing all the test fitting and stuff man because uh, before the car settled man the springs they were just like a little bit too bouncy um, in the beginning so I was like man am I going to have to like swap these out dude for like the swift springs so I went and did some research on the swift springs they're like they take up, what was that? I want to say it's like 86 more pounds in the rear, uh, but it's not that much of a difference in the front. I want to say like 30 something. Uh, I wish I would have wrote the numbers down, but all in all, it wouldn't have been a difference, especially with the weight of this car. So I was like, well, maybe I should do coilovers. And then, you know, I started doing my research on coilovers and I was just going through so much shit, man, just expecting these springs not to work right <laughs> and it was just man i was just coming up with so many ideas and so many ways to just waste more money and it was just stupid so luckily enough i continued to drive the car i said i know i gotta drive when to break them in so i started to ask myself a question like will do springs get stiffer as you drive and i know i found it somewhere in one of the forums where he says yes um springs will tend to stiffen especially if they're brand new um, as they, you know, uh, uh, compress and decompress. Um, so I was like, well, maybe that might happen for me, right? And then sure as shit, like over time, especially when I hit like over uh, uh, 200 miles, like the car just, it, it just floats. It feels really good. It feels really good. Like I was scraping everywhere, man. Um, for a little while but now going those same spots and even going at a faster speed I'm not doing like 10 miles over but like five miles over three miles over what I normally would do to have to rub I'm hitting those dips now and not rubbing uh, and it's pretty good because again like I would rub even with the other 20s that I had on with no lowering springs just the stock springs but now with little to no play I'm not and even if I do rub now, again, I'm not really hitting the fender, I'm hitting liner. So the springs are stiff enough, they feel OEM. And um, after spazzing out <laughs> for, for about a week, um, or close to it anyway, I feel good about the springs, man. I'm excited I made it, the uh, decision to go springs. Uh, especially after doing my research on coilovers, man. If you're just looking to get the car and just do it for looks, man, like you're not really benefiting from getting coilovers. Like you, you can really dial a car in, a car in with coilovers. You know what I mean? You can have like a track setting. You can have a canyon setting. You can have a street setting. Um, and you can just really play with it. But obviously, if you don't know what you're doing, you're not going to. But most people, um, 
if you're just going to lower your car, springs are probably the best way, most cost effective way, and they're gonna feel a lot better too. Because over time, uh, once the coils settle, like I asked a bunch of people that I know personally with them too, like they don't like them. Like it's not for daily driving. Now if you're just canyon driving it and you got a car that you sit up most of the time and it's not your daily driver like this one is for me, um, then yeah, definitely jump on the coils, man. But uh, for me, I, I, I want my comfort, dude. I, this is literally my daily vehicle. So um, yeah, I want it to look good. That's why I went with the 20s. Uh, perform still too, but it's not, it's not like I'm gonna be out here racing every day. And then um, that's why I went with the 20s. But be able to, you know, give it to somebody if I choose to. I want to have that type of power, so that way I can have fun. And I don't have to wait to go home and, and get something. But um, yeah, I'm gonna grab some gas real quick, man. I need that. All right, one sec. All right, we got the Petro. Where else did I need to go? There was somewhere else I needed to go, but I'm not 100% sure. So, back to the springs now. As far as low capacity and putting people in the car, my daughter, she's in the 10th grade. I can load her and her friend up uh, in the car and, and drive around and be fine with uh, the bumps and scrapes. Now, don't get me wrong. On 20s, if you do hit a good dip, you're going to rub. You're going to hit your fender liners for sure. And depending on your offset, you will hit your... your uh, your fenders so you want to be careful with that definitely want to be careful with that but other than that um, the rubbing isn't bad it's real quick very very low um, to be honest if you walked around bumping the music you probably won't even hear it uh, but it also depends on how you drive too I'm, I'm pretty chill when I drive unless I can see somebody I can get I smoke to um, I'm, I'm real relaxed man um, I, I, I drive like a grandpa if you, if you want to say that every once in a while I might turn up if I'm like if I got like a lot of energy and I'm, I ain't been in my car all day like I've been working and sitting down and on the phone or something and I'm excited to get into it then yeah, I'm gonna turn up but other than that man for the most part I'm pretty chill when I drive so that's gonna play a factor with you too as far as dips and stuff and how well you know your area like I know where all the big dips that would make me rub at so I know when to slow down and when not to. Uh, if you take me out of this area, then you know I might run into a little bit more rubbing. But again, it, it's not like the springs aren't stiff enough to keep it from um, rubbing super hard. And I'm not doing anything crazy, so it shouldn't be a problem anyway. But I would say if you do lower your car on 20s with these springs, just be sure you're very cautious where you where, where you are racing. You don't want to get like thrown in the air and have to come down and, and, and tear your shit all up. So <laughs> just be careful with that, man. But as far as 19s go, I feel like as long as you don't do anything super crazy with the offset up to the with the tires, man, these springs are perfect for 19s, man. You'll be able to go and do what you want to do, uh, not have to worry about rubbing and drive it like you want to drive it, man. So because if I can do this right now with 20s, you're definitely not going to have any problems with 19s. Uh, and that's just my personal opinion. So I could be wrong in somebody else's opinion, like I said again, but it, always pay attention to the offset. If it's like a super aggressive offset and your tires are sticking out and they're saying, hey, they're rubbing, then that's probably why you're rubbing. But if yours are tucked in like mine are uh, and the back all has a has a, a, a camera in it uh, already, so you should be fine. You should be fine. Like I didn't even have to take the spacers off the back of my car like I thought I was going to because the back hardly ever rubs at all so the spacers are still on back there uh, when I was going through it though I was thinking that I was going to have to but everything worked out man everything worked out I got it on city and I got it turned all, all the notches are down 
it's not even centered like it's in the negative right now. So it's like you can go negative five, zero, uh, like here's a really good dip right here. And I usually, I just avoid it. But uh, you can go negative five, zero, or plus five. Or is it four? Let me see. Actually, it's on that phone that I'm using to record, so there that goes. But all in all, guys, my overall review on the Springs, man, they're definitely a go. Um, I like the way the car sits. Um, I like the way the car feels. It's definitely stock to me as far as being able to drive around. And um, yeah, like I said, I enjoyed it. I went through hell because I was so nervous that they're not that they weren't going to work in the beginning. But overall, man, I can honestly say there's some good Springs, man. So they're definitely a go for me. But other than that, that's going to do it for this video. Appreciate you guys for tuning in. Like I said, I will leave the description if you guys haven't seen the actual car on the Springs. I'll leave the description for that video, or I'm sorry, the link for that video in the description below. So with that being said, you guys have a blessed day. And until the next one, have a blessed one. All right? Deuces.